your girl crystal coming through with um a new zodiac date experience okay guys so what's up if you don't know my name is crystal dior this is my channel thank you guys for tuning in you dig you dig all right so i have just been doing this zodiac date experience and i wanted to finish it off on this channel so if you guys don't know i do have another channel it's called the ic the IC is my spiritual channel where I do various pick a cards as well as talk about different spiritual talk. And I will be adding the Zodiac experience over there once this series is completed. Okay, my love. So you can click the link below to get to my channel, the IC. Check out some of my pick a cards to see if it resonates with your soul. Okay, but still make sure you give this video a thumbs up and please make sure you comment below my birthday just passed guys So team crab gang cancer cancer, please happy birthday below and if you a cancer cancer Write your birthday below you dig you dig. All right guys <laughs> so This zodiac experience um series we're going to be talking about the cancer man okay so now first of all should we name this barry the crazy crab or the crabby patty which one do you guys like if you're watching this please comment below on which title do you like okay if i get at least five of one or the other i'm going to name it that okay regardless if it's named already i'm going to change the name so the first five comments of the name title i'm going to change it Barry the Crazy Crab or the Crabby Patty? You decide. All right, guys, so let's talk about this man. Okay, so when you think about the cancer man, what do you think about? Sometimes I think about this man being plain Jane, just in some regular clothes, just on some manly man, like just walking. Sometimes I think about this guy being so suave and smooth and you just like, mmm, who that? And then sometimes I just think about this man in some sweats and in the, in the t-shirt going to the market. So what do that say? You would never know if you can keep like peep or point out a cancer man unless you keep attracting them. <laughs> For real, because cancer men are ruled by their emotions. So it goes by how they feel in that day, that moment, that hour. Cancers can have three outfits laid up about an event that they know they're about to go to that night. Had three outfits and go back in their closet and pick out the fourth outfit and wear that. So you just would never know. It just depends on the cancer's mood. So even if you travel with them, they might be the guys that might have a little bit more clothing than the other guys because they just don't know how they're going to feel and they don't know what they really want to wear so you know so it just depends on the cancer's mood right but cancer guys are very charming they're sweet so we're going to talk about the good characteristics right so cancer guys are very charming they're sweet they're intriguing they're very supportive and ambitious okay so when it comes to a cancer man they can definitely make you feel love it's like you know if you're having a bad day or a bad moment a cancer man can definitely make you feel good okay they know what to say they know how to nurture you they know how to care for you um it's like a sixth sense because this guy is highly intuitive okay so be careful if you think you're going to be playing games with him because he already probably know that you're trying to play the games with him okay so just be careful because this person matched fire with fire all right so even though they're loving and caring they can definitely show you another side so we're gonna get into that <laughs> but other other than that <laughs> they're very charming they're sweet they um like i think they're like hitting comedians because they definitely like to make you laugh you can talk to them um you know like uh they want to put a smile on your face you know what i'm saying like this guy loves love so they could be emotional and um sometimes the emotion can come off a bit aggressive at times as well because they are a cardinal sign um so cardinal can give off a bit of an aggression but um all in all they can be very emotional right so when 
that's another we're going to talk about the emotion but um they could be very emotional but like i said they can always make you feel good about yourself it's like they have a protective nature about you excuse me about them as well so they like to protect others feelings they want to make sure they can if they're able to physically protect you they would they're really kind of non-confrontational dependent on the situation or if you get them there but usually you're not going to see a cancer man just run up in a fight and just start attacking <laughs> so let me see for example if you got a scorpio a pisces and a cancer the scorpio is going to go to the fight <laughs> <laughs> now it's gonna be up to the Pisces or Cancer to do the, the, the next move, depending on the, each sign. <laughs> Cause usually, like the Cancer would probably be like, "All right, y'all, look, we don't need to do this." The Pisces is like, "All right, this is how we going to do this. We, you go over there, you go over here." And the Scorpio is like, "You know what? We out, rah!" So you know that's like that's how the water kind of go. <laughs> Sorry if it didn't make no sense, but basically I'm trying to say that cancer would try to like stop the situation before going to war, okay? I mean, if you don't leave them any choice or if they feel slighted, disrespected or whatever, you, like I said, you want to see another side to them. But usually they would try to put the smoke out instead of reignite the flame. But um, trust is very important to a cancer. Like... Um, so they are okay so they can be very trusting if they they feel the energy from you right so cancers tend to ping pong off of their partners at times right so if they feel like they have like a strong bond a strong connection with you and like they feel like you are trusting and they can trust you then they probably won't like step outside the relationship um but if because they're intuitive if they feel like something is off a pattern is off they may start to play your game as well right but cancers can also be seen as a power couple partner right so if you pair them with the power couple sign so or the signs that's always like go get her off for money which i say is usually all the earth signs so taurus virgo scorp excuse me taurus virgo and capricorn um Aries, Sagittarius, um, even like another Cancer, they can definitely, they could definitely do some damage together as a power couple in all areas of life. Okay, so when you pair this, well, with Cancer, because the Cancer is ambitious, they they are very hard working. And like I said, it's two different types of Cancers: is it involved and uninvolved, right? So usually they are hard workers they always want to make sure that they have and they have a job of some kind so a cancer would basically hustle do whatever they gotta do to get some money okay but they know how to get money as well right so this person would always be looked at as a plus for whoever they're with especially a person who grinds a lot so any type of business ethic person and a cancer is will be a straight power couple um like i said it's two types okay so don't shoot the message i'm gonna talk about the two types all right i'm gonna talk about the two types <laughs> um <laughs> but usually they can be seen as a power couple partner okay and that could be for a woman or a man um they always trying to make sure they have an okay life cancer is like comfort so the only way that they're going to have comfort is if they know that they know that the only way they're going to have the comfort that they want is if they make the money that they need to make to get the comfort so that's why a lot of cancers will grind because they want to have a comfortable life even if it's in a small little one bedroom apartment and it's home to them you know what i'm saying so whatever would make them happy so if they have to work for theirs then they will um now let's talk about some of the negatives right so like i said trust is important to a cancer man so if you want to be dealing with this man you have to earn their trust and if you do earn their trust um just don't break their trust right 
because with cancer men right this will make them different than a woman a cancer man will stay in a relationship even past his expiration date cancer men don't really like to let go of the relationship once they're in it okay so um sometimes not all the time but most times a cancer man won't really initiate the breakup like a cancer man would probably put on or take on more than they could bear a lot in a relationship but they don't want it to end so they won't do anything to finalize it even if y'all fighting crazy they're not really going to finalize the relationship it's like cancers can kind of turn on their crazy okay <laughs> They can kind of turn on their crazy <laughs> with certain aspects in life. And a relationship is one of those triggers, okay? Disrespect is another one. So um, when it comes to, like, getting played in a relationship, like, if a cancer, cancers kind of pay attention to your patterns and your moves. So if your pattern or your move is off, now something is going to ring a bell in their mind. They're going to be like, hmm. All right, so I know that this person do this, 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 and now they're changing up. So what's the reason for their change? So now they're going to look at you a little closer. Hmm. Hmm. Because cancers are very observant. So they're going to study you. Just know this. They're going to study you. They're going to study all your nonverbals. They're going to study your verbals. They're going to study everything you said. They're going to they're going to make sure they can say to you what you said to them. Just like it. So, be careful how you handle your cancer because they're paying attention always even when it looks like they're not, right? So, if you start playing games and you might have a lower level cancer, they're going to start playing the game with you. If they feel as though that you might be playing games, then they're gonna start be playing start playing games with you. So then they might be more extra flirty and extra extra friendly. They might start having friends out the blue pop up. <laughs> Just be careful. Now I'm not saying that you have to do something first for them to do something to you because they can be very cheating. They could they could be very sneaky as well. So cancer men can be very sneaky, they could be cheaters. They could be very flirty. Like, they can have, they could, on um, that song, Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. Um, they could have another family. They could, the thing, okay. So, with a cancer man, right, um, let's just say if he have, like, a solid foundation. If he have, like, a solid family dynamic and he is messing with someone else, He's not going to leave his family for the other partner. Mm -mm. A cancer would secretly cheat. So everything could be good at home or not good. Things could be happening or in their mind. They just want to have some fun, right? A cancer man can just have something on the side and go back home like it's nothing. Like they could have a secret rendezvous with a man. I'm sorry, with a woman. They can have a secret rendezvous with whoever, <laughs> okay? They can have a secret rendezvous with a partner of their choice. And it could be a month thing. It could be a couple months thing. It could be a day thing. But it would be something in their little secret. Excuse me, in their little diary, okay? Because this person is very mysterious and they're very secretive. So cancers are very secretive as well. They can have a very secretive nature about them. And it's more so, I think it's more so from the trust. It's like cancers will let you see so much of them. They're never going to show you their full self because they don't want to be seen as that vulnerable. Like cancers, if they have to be vulnerable, they will be. But most times they don't really like to show weakness. So you're not going to really see all of them. Similar to like a Scorpio, you're not going to really see all of them. You're going to see what they give you. And as you continue to peel the onion back, you might get other layers of them. But it just depends on how much faith and trust they give towards you. Um, some cancers can be, well, 
most cancers can be very moody. So with the moodiness, they can tend to complain at times. Um, it depends, like if they, it depends what's in a cancer's chart, but I believe all cancers have the tendency to be moody. But with the moods, right? If you allow them to go through their moods, then you'll be good. That's the thing. It's like you just have to learn your opponent. So if you was with a cancer and they just became moody, because cancers just become moody. Like being a cancer is hard, okay? It's not easy. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's hard because people think you're super emotional and you're just always like about to cry. And that's not, that's when you, you got to understand it's more to emotions than crying. You know what I'm saying? So... <laughs> It's like you gotta check your dark side, you gotta check your light side, you you gotta check if you're crazy, like check, all right, check all these, but make sure that I'm not about to do nothing that I'm going to regret. Make sure, you know what I'm saying? Like cancers really gotta check themselves, right? So sometimes cancers can be really moody, but when a cancer is going through their mood, just allow them to go through their mood. It's nothing that it's nothing you did, it's nothing they did. It's just something that just happens. It just happens. You just be chilling, and then all of a sudden you going through a mood allow them to go through that wave they'll be good they'll be good trust me okay but it's when you start bickering about them being in a moody state then that's when it could go left okay because they're already they already done checked out to where they was at you know they probably trying to figure out how to get back there and now it's like oh why are you la 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 look just let me give me a couple minutes give me an hour let me breathe and i'll be back okay thank you <laughs> <laughs> but um they could be moody and complain a lot some cancer men could be very militant and authoritative um i don't know if that's a part of the cardinal trait but some cancer men could be very militant and authoritative so you can have them always just talking at you or whatever they're passionate about just talking about it passionately never really giving you a resolution for it but just talking about it Oh yeah, and that happened, and I can't believe it happened, and la 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 la. Okay, so what should we do? I mean, I'm just saying what happened. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, they they could kind of like um be an attention whore, right? A subtle attention whore okay so like they want to hear that they look good they want to get like compliments and stuff they want you to flirt with them or whatever so they could probably do things to like try to grab your attention so this like you know they probably can't flirt with others or somebody flirt with them they'll make sure they join the a party and flirt back or whatever because they want your attention they want to make sure you know that they still here and they look good and they want you to know that they look good and they want you to know that they care about you and you know that they just fill your tank up and gave you a foot massage and all that stuff and like did you thank your cancer because <laughs> they're gonna want that attention and they're gonna want it okay some cancers can have vices right so they could either have a crazy vice whatever their vice is okay so smoking drinking drugs sex um work whatever their vice is a overdoing something that they're overdoing overindulging in okay so they can definitely have a vice and they could have like an addictive personality at times so whatever it is that they like they like it a lot they like a lot of it um they can be a bit clingy right because they could kind of be a control freak at times like so cancer men want control a lot um I, I think that's the thing with them them and the women they like to be in control cancers like to be in control okay they just want to make sure that what's done is being done right you know and they won't be disappointed and then they could be a bit clingy like because they want you to do everything with them when you're in a relationship with a cancer usually a cancer man usually they want you right here it's you and them well, what you gotta do? All right, uh, all right, I'm gonna come pick you up. <laughs> it's gonna be you and your cancer man, okay? So that's in a sense they could be a bit clingy like that, like they like that family dynamic, right? So although 
like not all cancers are married in the back of their mind they do probably want a wife um they probably want kids they do want a house probably an animal of some kind but cancer men do tend to um want like the white picket fence and then they also want their family to be a tight net family like they want to be you know close to their family usually um because they're carnal water they could be a bit aggressive but emotional like they could be lovey-dovey or they could be guarded and secretive so it really depends on what type of cancer you get depending on their upbringing and their past as well um sometimes a cancer man can be seen as being cheap um sometimes it could be real cheap but if they have feelings for you they would definitely spend a dollar they'll be a little bit more lenient with their pockets but usually if they're kind of cheapo or like being like you know re reserved with their money then you you could tell if they like you like that or they don't um and cancers are freaks right so i got this little rope right here i just bought it from the dollar store <laughs> they they are freaks you did cancer are freaks cancers are freaks if you was to go buy this rope <laughs> at the dollar store and was like hey babe what you doing tonight he gonna be like what you doing right now okay <laughs> like things like this would turn your cancer man on hey babe i was thinking maybe cops and robbers <laughs> they'd be like oh you nasty <laughs> and then they're gonna do everything to you okay <laughs> cancers are freaks it's like cancer cancer men are like freaks like they literally like sex you know they like to explore you they're very in tune with you emotionally they're gonna make sure they see what it is that you like what you don't like they paying attention so they paying attention to every moan and groan okay and like they usually are some amazing partners in bed you know they um are very explorative um <clears throat> but you have to learn your cancer to see what it is they like and what they don't like as well right but that rope trick i'm telling you they'll like it <laughs> um <clears throat> so the uh, lower level cancers and the higher level cancers so the lower level cancers are more of the cancers that um isn't really doing much with their lives they don't really have any real direction they're not really paying attention to their intuition or you know um their sixth sense is like they always go against the grain they always might be in trouble with the law a lot um because cancers don't like to be told what to do so they could be very defiant in that sense um a cancer a lower level cancer might be one that's always in between jobs or may have may just hustle um to get a couple dollars but they don't really have any goals or no visions for their, their selves they might have a lot of bad romances or can't even get a relationship or keep a relationship um they might be the ones that's always like playing in love as well the ones that might have uh, a couple different options as well um kind of like a a gloomy cloud around you like a dark cloud always very argumentative why me type time um <clears throat> yeah um oh yeah i forgot to say that cancers can be mama boys too they love their mamas sorry side note they could definitely be mama boys okay so make sure you play nice with mommy even though she might be crazy like you make sure you play nice with mommy and you know um they're crazy they, 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 they have a click click side okay it's like light on light off just keep that light off because <laughs> they could be crazy they could be crazy they could be crazy okay cancer men are crazy like they could be crazy like they um it's like disrespect and relationships are like mad triggers that would show a crazy cancer okay like it's like it's hard to explain <laughs> it's hard to explain because cancers just have that tick it's like it's like you might have a smiley face here and then you're gonna have to see the chucky like coming after you like a he 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 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's kind of hard. Like, um, when they go crazy, just run, okay? Or just don't entice their crazy. If they go crazy, like, look, I'm going to give you some space. I'm out. Just do that. Do not add fuel to the fire, okay? Because it's like once they there it's kind of hard for them to fizzle down they have to fizzle down on their own time but then that's when a lot of like um jail time can happen or y'all fighting each other or you know weapons can come out that's like that is that's when they have left the building okay they have left their shell <laughs> okay so like um Cancer men can be prone to hitting a woman. I think all the water signs really can be prone to hitting a woman just because they live in their feminine body and they can have that emotion. I'm not saying that they straight would hit a woman, but I've known some to have hit women. Um, <clears throat> but um, they can be very crazy. So whatever your definition of crazy is. It just depends. It's not like they're going to just automatically be the seed of Chucky. It's like you have to do something to bring out they crazy. For real. Like you have to either disrespect them in the craziest way. Cheat on them. Lie to them. Uh, steal from them. You know like do, do something that's going to basically disrespect them in the highest form. And you'll see crazy. You'll see crazy. But um. Yeah so the. My bad. So the evolved cancers are more like the ones that know what it is that they want do not tolerate anything but the best they could still have the mysterious feature because that's what cancer have in general they do want like a solid commitment in love where they don't want to play any games they just want to really build they are looking for a power couple dynamic so they are looking for someone that's going to complement their life in the best way possible um they very goal oriented and driven um they could have a good job you know they're very sweet understanding and loving okay so um highly intuitive sign highly intuitive man very sensitive but he could be a bit um mysterious as well as uh, aggressive as well this man can sometimes be self-absorbed as well too so just be cautious of that so if i left anything out please let me know um, so my experience with dating a cancer man, um, I've only been in long-term relationships with water signs and one on and off relationship with an air sign, but I've only really been in long-term relationships with water signs and I've dated a cancer man before and I've dated cancer men after him and cancer men and cancer women, I believe are very compatible just probably because you kind of are the same person in different ways. So, um, a cancer woman do have slightly different characteristics than the cancer man, but they can understand each other when they're both going through their mood swings or if something ain't right, you know, they just know how to move because they know how they want people to move with them. So it's like a, a silent language that only them two understand. So I definitely feel like a cancer woman and a cancer man is a good match, I would say. Um... <clears throat> The issue that can happen with a cancer woman and a cancer man is maybe it's too much of, of a likeness and you know um, maybe one or the other like that um, opposites attract you know so that could be an issue and also um, because they both like control it's going to be like a, a battle for control like who could control the other although i do feel like a cancer woman could be more submissive to a cancer man and especially if the cancer man is taking care of home and taking care of business like the cancer woman desire then i do feel like she could be more submissive to them to him but um all in all i would say if they don't know how to check their emotions and they keep you in with each other instead of giving each other space that could be an issue um the fight over control can be an issue as well as where they're both mentally at in life can be an issue but other than that i do feel like this pair could work so um i would say they and the cancer man can be a three and that's really for um maybe air excuse me maybe water and earth signs 
maybe a two or a one for air and fire because you have to understand the dynamics of this complex man okay but all in all if i left anything out or if i missed anything with dating this cancer man please make sure you guys comment below with your experience as well what sign are you and what sign you know what happened with y'all just comment below and share the stories guys i thank you for your time and your energy until next time peace